this booking of Javon Evans is terrible. Everybody defending it doesn't get what the issue really is. And I'd be at people going, yeah, you know, AEW does it with Wardlow. And somebody in NXT say that to me. It's like, <laughs> so what you want is to book like AEW to not get a guy over. Like, you're proud of that? Dude, one of the biggest problems with AEW is this exact same thing they're doing with Javon. We talked about it with Daniel Garcia. Brian, Brian and Vini, along with Granny and Craig and sometimes other people. To the Dynamite rating from Wednesday, I don't want to sit here and act like I'm defending the rating because that was a terrible rating. The Big Bang Theory did not air, and uh, Black Panther aired in its place. That movie did like 97,000 viewers. Yeah. That is an atrocious, atrocious number. Yeah. Dynamite seems to do better because they have a gigantic lead-in every single week. The Big Bang Theory, that lead-in is huge. They benefit from that in that first quarter, and they did not have that here. I'm not trying to stir the turd here, but what does the lead-up to a show have to do with the main event of a show? The main event of the show sucked. It had nothing to do with the lead-in. The larger issue is that, you know, this show is not attracting viewers in large numbers. You know, that that final quarter right there, I mean, what does that tell you? It tells you that, I don't know if they care about the Owen Hart Cup. That was a horrible number for a tournament match for a shot at the title at Wembley Stadium. So there was definitely an issue with the show itself, but the lead-in being what it was, I think was the main determining factor of this show doing so poorly overall. Baltimore Guerrero has been unmasked for a decade. Yes. So he's booked on collision. He shows up to work ready to go, walks in. They say, where's your mask? He says, I didn't bring one. I don't wrestle in a mask anymore. And uh, he is... Talked about this publicly. In like the hour before the show, the AEW seamstress quickly made a mask for him. He uh, got this mask made on the fly to uh, appease the bookers, which is... That is so weird. There was a concerted effort to trick you into thinking that he is a famed masked luchador from CMLL. That his mask is... It was, this was the weirdest thing I've ever seen. From a promotion that doesn't do this. The best sure. thing maybe in AEW all year. The Jeff Jarrett promo about his uh, late friend Owen Hart. I think they made a mistake with uh, this Owen in the sense that they announced that the winner is going to get the title match at Wembley. It's like you made Jeff Jarrett do this incredible, incredible promo. And like, there's no way he's headlining Wembley, right? Jeff Jarrett headlining Wembley for the world title. Yes. So yeah. I almost wish they hadn't said it is for the title shot at Wembley and let Jeff Jarrett just win. Granny is having to join us today via the telephone. Since you're on the phone, why don't we just jump right into your wrestling report and such, and then we'll let you go and we'll do Facebook without you. Can I lay the phone down and you guys, can you hear me? You can try. Why don't you give it a shot? Okay. Oh, boy. It's going to be a disaster. I can already tell. Can you hear me? I can hear you. That's all right, I guess. Go ahead. <laughs> no, it's, it's your segment. You're going to you're yeah. gonna uh, read. Read us jokes. Or, or your wrestling report or whatever. I see Granny has now put the phone back up to her ear. I'm just, yeah, for now. WrestleMania, Undertaker versus Roman Reigns. Always liked Undertaker's entrances. Dark. Long sounds. Checks out. It was a long and well match. Sad to see Undertaker fall for the loss. I gave that a 10. A 10? Ooh, nothing wow. better. I had to with Undertaker. The book is best old folks chokes ever. Oh, boy. Vinny is aghast. I had a caramel in my mouth, and it dropped out on... I can't find it, George said. Forget it, it will be too dirty to eat. And he said, I have to find it, said Pete. My teeth were in it. Ha 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 ha. Do you have the soaps or anything else, Granny, or are we, uh, is that it? I want to click for now. Okay. Well, <laughs> no more. This early Bray Wyatt stuff, just a scary swamp monster. 
honestly, the best Bray Wyatt and the best Bo Dallas was all this period. They definitely could have done something with Bo Dallas, and it uh, you know didn't work out like that. And then Bray, they had to go full fucking full bore into the hocus pocus, and uh, you know, people people there were people that definitely liked it, but it did. I think if we can all be honest here, more harm than good, but it did sell a lot of merch. I will give him that. We are joined by Paul Fontaine, who is replacing Vinny as Vinny is. I don't even know where he's at today. He leaves a literally big pants to fill, but I'll do the best I can. Do, do your best to do your worst. and then, There you go. How is your daughter? How's my my daughter is doing about as well as can be expected. I, I gotta say the the wrestling community was uh, phenomenal with the support. Um, you know, you and Dave and a uh, lot of people in both companies. We got some very nice videos. We got some really nice messages from people really, really high up that would that would shock you. You know, so that helped us get through it. And she's home now. She's back to smiling and laughing, which uh, is what everybody loves about her. So excellent, excellent yeah. news. Folks at home and in the arena, tell me how you feel about it. Daniel Garcia versus MJF at Wembley Stadium. What? Really? And it did not get a gigantic reaction. It was nope. kind of like, that's the MJF match at, at Wembley? Probably Will Ospreay loses on Sunday. He defends yeah. only the international title against Daniel Garcia. It is exactly as I've talked about for the last two months now. Daniel Garcia's been on a win streak against kind of nobody, but he's been winning. And he'll get another big shot at a title, fail, and then we'll have the Osprey MGF match for the international title at Wembley. But, well, uh, obviously, yeah. everybody thinks the wild card is going to be Hangman, and yep, it may very too. well be. And everyone's talking about, well, he could win it, and then he could face Swerve at at uh, Wembley. And I'm I'm 99 percent sure it's Brian Danielson versus Swerve at Wembley. And the thing with Danielson is, this is his last hurrah. Is he going to win the title? He's never won a title in AEW. He's never won anything in AEW. Mm -hmm. He's going for the world title in front of 40,000 people in one of his last major matches as a full-time performer. Up on the screen comes uh, Hiroshi Tanahashi, and he closes it off by saying the scissor ace is coming. Tony Khan, he made the match. The Elite versus Tanahashi and the claimed at Forbidden Door. You know, I prefer Tanahashi to to uh, Daddy Ass in this match, so... Uh, Although I should, I think that uh, Daddy Ass is more mobile. I was asking for this to become a weekly segment. Now it is a weekly segment, and it was amazing. And this time, everyone just stands back at the beginning, and they say, Briscoe, go for it. Yeah. And he's doing his crazy fucking promo. Uh, then we went to the learning tree. And I got to say, for I've been skipping these segments because I don't like him. I know you and Vinny love these segments. But um, but uh, I I knew I was doing the show, so I had to watch this one. And, and actually, this one was – I like this segment, actually. So uh, You probably should watch watching. the other segments. I know. This wasn't I even just... one of the best ones. Uh, Swerve and Will Ospreay against the Gates of Agony. Yes, the Gates of Agony here on a Dynamite main event. I wasn't – a super big fan going in of having the two world champions teaming with their opponents, but I thought it worked out. You know, it's, it's kind of the usual AEW thing where in a vacuum, a lot of great segments on this show. When you put it all together in context, well, you can kind of see some of the issues that, uh, that the company has been having. But yeah. overall, I would say that, you know, I think the last three weeks of, of Dynamite have been on the better end of uh, a lot of dynamites we've seen over the past year. It feels like it's going in, in a better direction. And we had an amazing segment. My favorite crew <laughs> metaphor. <laughs> Noam Dar, who is legitimately injured, is on FaceTime. And Noam says, that was beautiful. Oro, you're beautiful. Metaphor, it's beautiful. And they all hug. This was the most baby face, baby face segment you ever saw in your baby face life. Yeah. And I love me some Oro Mensa. This guy's awesome. Trick Williams versus Sean Spears with Ethan Page on commentary. Spears hits the C4 in the corner and gets the pin. I've been watching Sean Spears under that name for, I guess, five years. And he doesn't win much, but I swear every time he wins, my immediate thought is, why? And they're all going back and forth. And finally, <laughs> Ava goes, I got it. I've got it. <laughs> yeah. Let's do a Four way. I think this booking of Javon Evans is fucking terrible. 
Everybody defending it doesn't get what the issue really is. It's exactly what Vince did for fucking years, where you'd want some guy to get over, he'd throw you a fucking bone, you'd get all excited, and then he'd beat the guy, beat the guy, beat the guy. And nobody got over, because nobody trusted, they did not trust the booking. And all of a sudden, next thing you know, Vince can't make any stars. You know how fucking hard time he had making stars for years because of this shit? And then the other thing is, then I'd be at people going, yeah, you know, AW does it with Wardlow. And somebody in NXT say that to me. It's like, <laughs> so what you want is to book like AEW to not get a guy over. Like, you're proud of that? Dude, one of the biggest problems with AEW is this exact same thing they're doing with Javon. We talked about it with Daniel Garcia. If you're one of those guys in NXT, and I know you are because I hear from you, that's always burying AEW in the booking, you're doing the exact same fucking thing with Javon. And no, I'm not trolling. I'm telling you you're doing the exact same thing. So either quit bitching about the way that AEW books, or if you think what they're doing is stupid, then don't fucking do it. And yes, it's not the end of the world, but you really could have made a star. And instead, you've made just another guy.